Here are the most broken releases of all time in Pokemon Unite. In no particular order, except I did put them in order. So in particular order. Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. Let's start off with our number 11 most broken release of all time. You might be shocked that this one is so low, but I would say Mew. Here's the thing about Mew. It was so broken on release. So, so, so broken. Unbelievably overpowered legendary Pokemon. However, there was something that actually made it not so broken. And it's the fact that Mew was kind of hard to play. That's one of the most interesting things about a Pokemon like Mew is it was unbelievably busted. The damage it did with its boosted, how much damage its solar beam did, it was disgusting. Mew has been nerfed multiple times since release. I don't think it's ever received any type of buff. And the fact of the matter is, it was completely busted, more busted than others on this list. People just didn't know how to play it well enough because Mew is actually a pretty tough Pokemon to play at a very, very high level. It's why you saw some Mews absolutely dominate the game and others were just kind of confused walking around. If it were up to me and a Pokemon had to be released broken, and let's be honest, they don't have to be released broken. But if a Pokemon had to be released incredibly overpowered, I wish they were all a little more like Mew, because at least then people would have to be good enough to play the Pokemon to actually get value out of them. That's why Mew is my number 11. Number 10 is Zarina. And look, I have to say, as I'm continuing this, this list was so hard to put these in order because so many Pokemon have come into this game and they've been incredibly overpowered at different times, completely defining the meta. And Zarina was one of them, releasing a long, long time ago for free, by the way, when Zarina dropped into Pokemon Unite. And this thing was busted. The recovery that you were able to get on Triple Axel was insane. You just couldn't take this Pokemon down. Anyone who was good on Zarina was completely cracked. It did require a decent level of skill, I would say, to actually get the most out of this Pokemon. However, it was still busted, 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 and a little easier to use than something like Mew. But it was more complex than some, and that's why it has made our list at number 10. Number nine is Dragonite. And part of me wants Dragonite to be higher, but there are so many good Pokemon on this list. The thing about Dragonite is it was meta defining when it came out. Its Unite was completely busted and dumb. You could put it right now. It was just so crazy what you could do with Dragonite. And the Hyper Beam meta that it created was basically at a point where you have to have a Dragonite on your team or you're way behind. Those are metas that I actually really, really don't like. If we look at a meta like Mew, Mew was broken, but you can win without a Mew and some Mews aren't very good. Dragonite defined the meta in such a way where it really was, if you don't have a Dragonite on your team with Hyper Beam, your chances of winning at Zapdos are so incredibly poor, you are just in so much trouble. Not my favorite meta, even though I do like like the playstyle of Dragonite a bit. I just feel like this was one of those meta-defining Pokemon that was a little too broken when it dropped, and the play style that it brought into the match, I guess not the play style, I should say, but the way you had to play in a match because of it, sort of just this aggressive fight at objectives where you know it's just gonna get ripped away with a Hyper Beam, I didn't love that. And we have another Pokemon on this list that kind of fits that bill as well. That Pokemon is our number eighth most broken release of all time, Duraludon. Duraludon could be higher on this list. The fact of the matter is Duraludon was a meta monster. You had to have Dura. It threw down its Unite move at every single final fight. It ripped away objectives. It did too much damage. It was just crazy. Duraludon was crazy. In fact, the tournament that had Duraludon, basically every team was just running this Pokemon nonstop, except Interestingly enough, for a team out of North America that actually came up with a great counter to Duraludon. In general, it was all over every region. It was a boring month for the Unite Championship Series, in my opinion. And because of how the playstyle in the meta became, it just felt like a useless farming simulator for eight minutes and then a 
flip at the end of the match, and that's the game. I did not like the Duraludon meta, even though now I really enjoy Duraludon, and I think it sits in a good place for the game. When it came out, yeesh. Our next on the list is Umbreon. As we get higher in this list, it's so hard because a lot of these are just shades of different kinds of broken, but Umbreon was a really interesting style of broken defender. Much more broken, I think, than a Pokemon even like Lapras, who was very, very good. And interestingly enough, we have a few more defenders on this list to come. Umbreon is a recent release and its foul play snarl build is completely, or at least was completely busted. You stack on top of that, the fact that this Pokemon only needs level four to become really, really good. You put on top of that, the fact that it gets a Unite move at level eight, a Unite move that steals away shields from everyone on the enemy team that's around it and gives it to Umbreon. It just counters so much inside the meta. It's so incredibly powerful. It was such an unbelievably powerful tank. It still is one of the best defenders inside the game. Thank goodness they have nerfed this thing because Umbreon coming in as a defender had a ludicrous win rate, much higher than you see from most Pokemon inside of Pokemon Unite. And it was really just set up to kind of just be this tanky defender. The fact that it could do so much damage with foul play and then stun with Snarl and then never get KO'd and then recover so much health with its boosted attacks. It was just unbelievably brutal. I'm very happy that they have nerfed it but it was broken. This brings us now to our number six Pokemon on the list, and that is Urshifu. Urshifu is still nuts. In fact, both builds for Urshifu are still amazing. But when Urshifu launched, the single strike Urshifu, that wicked blow with that Unite move, was so incredibly broken. You could secure objectives, you had damage reduction, you knocked multiple enemies up into the air, multiple enemies up into the air with your Unite move, and then you could hit them all with a Wicked Blow. You could Wicked Blow them, throw them into the air, Wicked Blow them again, while you're charging Wicked Blow, you had something like 60% damage reduction while you were charging a move that made you immune to hindrance. Like, <laughs> what? what? What is this Pokemon? Come on. Urshifu was so unbelievably busted when it came out. It's kind of... It's funny to think about it, and it's funny to think that there are higher ones on this list for a few different reasons. There are things about Urshifu that I think were maybe unintentional. I actually think knocking multiple enemies up uh, was probably known, but they didn't think it would have the impact that it actually did. I'm very happy to see Urshifu where it's at today. Extremely powerful, sometimes maybe a little too powerful, but much more in line with the rest of the roster. However, upon release, this thing was crazy. And Water Bear was bad, and now Water Bear good. So there you go. Here we are into the top five. Number five is Greedent. Greedent upon release was disgusting. First off, it had this crazy bug where you would use your Unite move and then you'd run around with Covet Belch and you'd be like, boom, 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 boom. It was just crazy. It, it, you could, you just ran through entire enemy teams, wiped everyone out easily. You could rip Zap, you, you rip Zapdos faster, I think, than any Pokemon's probably ever ripped Zapdos with this combination with insane secure because th the burst was so high that it was just unbelievable. You also had crazy amounts of recovery, Covet was unstoppable. I remember Stuffed Cheeks Bullet Seed not being so good just because the other was amazing. Also, there was a weird control uh, style with Covet Bullet Seed back then. I think you almost had to, gosh, I wish I could remember exactly how it went, but I remember Bullet Seed was just not this easily maneuverable fluid thing. It was kind of clunky. Belch Covet, on the other hand, was completely broken. They did nerf it pretty fast, especially because there was clearly a bug with it and its Unite move. But it, I mean, Halloween, when this game first came out, Greedent was an absolute menace. We thought they were going to release something terrifying, like a spooky tree, like Trevenant around Halloween. Uh-uh. The scariest thing they could release was Greedent. Part of me thinks our number four Pokemon here actually beats our number three, but let's talk about it. Blastoise. Blastoise was the first Pokemon, I believe, released in the game after the release of the game. I believe it went... Blastoise, then Gardevoir. Let me check. Hold on one second. I could be wrong. 
No, I thought maybe it wasn't this. It was Gardevoir first, then it was Blastoise that came to Pokemon Unite, and Blastoise was broken. Gardevoir was actually fine. Blastoise completely broken, and what it was is the Rapid Spin Water Spout build, which is still really good. It's a really strong build in the game. Uh, it was broken to where you would be rapid spinning, water spouting, and at the same time you could tap your basic attacks. So you were doing basic attacks, rapid spin, damage, and water spout damage all at the same time, and you would bowl through entire enemy teams. It was completely broken, while also of course being like the tankiest thing in the game. It's Unite move, as if this is somehow possible, dealt more damage than when it was released. It was insane. Blastoise's release was so incredibly busted. It's just so long ago, and I think it's so hard to remember how broken this thing was. Blastoise truly was disgusting. That Pokemon was gross, and I love Blastoise. Squirtle is my favorite Pokemon. Now they talk a lot. I've got my... Pokemon Blue love right here in my studio every time I'm working. I love Blastoise and I felt so bad that it was so broken that I barely played it a bunch. I mean, yeah, people were playing it a lot. It was, it was broken. Number three is going to be Selveon. No, it is not going to be higher on my list. Sylveon is number three. Sylveon released and had the first ever in the game emergency nerf. Sylveon was way, way, way overtuned when it was released and they nerfed it very, very quickly. I think it was nerfed in a day or two from release or just a couple days afterwards. The thing about Sylveon is if you look at Sylveon's release then and you kind of compare it to now, it actually doesn't seem as busted, but Sylveon was outputting so much damage and it really wasn't doing much to get it. Mystical Fire was a simple KO basically every time you ran up onto a Pokemon. Hyper Voice was just so easy to have matches with, you know, 150,000 damage in them. And I think the big reason that they emergency nerfed Sylveon was that this Pokemon was not only outputting insane amounts of damage, but was also extremely easy to use. I wish they would have taken that lesson for a few Pokemon we have coming up next on our list, but Sylveon did receive an emergency nerf. It definitely needed it, and it was a completely busted release. However, it kind of feels like, you know, when they talk about how much a movie made in movie theaters in 19 1960 and we have to go well adjusted for inflation that that's that's actually 350 million dollars it feels like sylveon is kind of like that where you go actually when you think about it you know snow white made the most money ever in the box office even though you know a end game made over a billion dollars it feels like that adjusted for inflation it might be the most broken release ever so you know what the last two are. The only question is, where am I putting them on my tier list? Number two is Mewtwo. Yes, Mewtwo is my number two most broken release of all time in Pokemon Unite. Had Mewtwo not gotten its emergency nerf, it actually probably would be the number one most broken release of all time in Pokemon Unite. But less than 24 hours, it received an emergency nerf that it desperately, desperately needed. Mewtwo is still an unbelievably broken Pokemon. And I think the thing that makes Mewtwo one of the most broken Pokemon in the game is how simple it is to do well with. Mew and Mewtwo probably released at honestly somewhat similar power levels after the emergency nerf. The only problem is Mew was a lot harder to do as well with. Mewtwo is an A button presser that runs into the enemy face and has a move that pulls you to it very scorpion get over here style or it has a move that makes it unstoppable and then throws a bomb at you that knocks you and your allies up while it has a global unite move that hits everyone on the map and can secure objectives. Let's face it, this is a busted release and I think it's the second most busted release of all time. In a game with tons of Pokemon that are truly amazing, Mewtwo still stands ahead of all of them. It is a busted release and it's my number two of all time. 
And that leaves our number one Pokemon. The number one most broken Pokemon release of all time was the Pokemon Day celebration this year of Zacian. Zacian was completely busted. It took them a little while to figure out what was busted about Sacred Sword. It was actually bugged when it was released. But regardless of that move being bugged, Zacian was completely insane. It had a stun on Sacred Sword. It had its passive that really required very little energy to be used. It has a Unite move that does insane damage. It has a Dash move that was also a cleanse that made it faster than any Pokemon in the game and able to chase you to anywhere on the map. You pair that with the fact that Comfey at the time was completely busted after the Comfey buffs. Now you just have the most disgusting time in Pokemon Unite for people who like to abuse things that are broken. Hey, and if you're out there abusing dogs, something should be done about you. You should be put in jail. If you had a ribbon on Zacian, you know who you are and you're a bad person. But all joking aside, the Pokemon needed to be nerfed. It needed to be nerfed a lot faster. It even was the reason behind the developer letter that we eventually got about Pokemon Unite. Since then, we've seen Mewtwo release. Mewtwo was busted. They did emergency nerf it. And we can see on the PTS that some more nerfs are coming from this Pokemon. I have to say, when it comes to broken releases, I don't actually mind when a Pokemon's really good. What I don't love is when a Pokemon is so good that it feels like not having it means you lose. And on a few of these releases for sure feel like that. Let me know if there's anything I missed. If there's a release that you think I way undervalued or way overvalued in the comments, please let me know. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. I love you all. And I will see you all next time. Mm -hmm. Oh, Mewtwo Y is coming. Oh.